first day and really kind of explore and get an idea, a feel for everything. And then Saturday, we go and get it. <laughs> One o'clock, Serta, 1.55, Hesh. I will be at Hesh, and I will be putting people in the hospital during Hesh. So watch out, because it's going to be pits all day. You guys are going to see a side of me that you probably will not see the rest of the weekend, because I'm going to lose my mind. Two o'clock, Carbon. Really looking forward to Carbon set, honestly, but I'll probably catch him at a sound camp. There's nobody beating Hesh for me. I have not seen Hesh yet, and he's one of my favorite artists. So, like, fuck. 250 Blunts and Blondes. Just saw Blunts and Blondes of Sunnyvale. Really dope set. Really kind of, like... It's vibey, like it's not just all dubstep, he's too heavy dubstep, heavy rhythm, but also I'd like some funky jams, but because I just saw him, I'm gonna see Jay Phelps at 315 because I know it's gonna be way heavier than Blunts and Blondes. So if you want something heavy, go to Jay Phelps. If you want something a little not as heavy, a little more well-rounded, diverse, go to Blunts and Blondes. Then we have 345 Buku, not really a big fan of Buku, I might use that as a, uh, a break time or, you know, I'm just gonna stay at Jay Phelps the whole set. And then go to Sullivan King 415. And then we have Bleep Bloop 445. I'm not going to see Bleep Bloop because it's a little more trippy, experimental. I'm here for dubstep. Bass, dubstep, that is what I'm here for. Not really experimental. Although I do like it, I just don't, like, prefer it, you know? This next one is kind of hard for me, yo. Dirty Phonics or Eprom? Because for some reason I feel like Dirty Phonics is a little more, like, bouncy from what I remember. Um, and uh, Eprom is more experimental. And I have not seen either of them in a long time. I saw Dirty Phonics back-to-back, -back, like... Abstract, I think, at EDC Las Vegas, and it was just straight bass house. So, not really. And they're playing at the Wampy Woods, which is like a new stage. So, following Eprom 545, we have Terra Vida. And this, this like block right here, Bleep Bloop, Dirty Phonics, Eprom, Terra Vida, even Boogie T. I've been seeing a lot of Boogie T, and it's kind of similar, unfortunately. I've been seeing a lot of the same Boogie T sets, the same intros, but whatever. You know, people, it's hits for other people. You know, not everybody is meant to go to a festival three times in a month like I do. So, I see the same artist three times in a month. They're not going to change their set that much. No disrespect over there, but I just really am not the biggest fans or, you know, know that musically that well. Bleep Bloop, Dirty Phonics, Ephraim. Of all of them, I probably know Dirty Phonics the most. I kind of want to check everybody out. So that's just going to be like a, a random, you know, go with the flow kind of time. Wherever my ears take me is where I'm going to go. And I might even check out other stages and shit at that time because that's still relatively early. 715 Space Laces, I would highly recommend going to that. That's going to be a rare set. You will not see Space Laces coming around that often. And then we have G. Jones, 6, 745. There's a lot of overlaps. I, I see why there's a lot of conflicts. There's a lot of overlapping times. This is not that hard for me because I've seen a lot of these artists. I just saw G. Jones at Bisco and Moonrise and, and Easy. Yo, what? How to, what? I didn't realize that. I saw G. Jones three times this summer. And I'm not even a huge G. Jones fan. No, I heard the song In my in Your Head, and I turned into a G. Jones fan, low-key. I love that song. But I would not skip G. Jones over Bear Grylls, 815. Haven't seen Bear Grylls probably since Lost Lands last year. So, no, I saw him at Bisco. No, no. Saw him at every... I've gone to too many festivals, dude. 815 Bear Grylls, Rusco, 9 o'clock. It looks like X is giving us, like, 45-minute sets before the conflicts happen, which is kind of nice because it's not like they're playing at the exact same time. You go to one... Chill there for like half an hour, then go to the other one for 45 minutes, and you didn't miss too much. You probably only missed like 15 minutes of music. So, 9 o'clock we have Rusko, and I'm really trying to see Rusko because I have not seen him yet. I'm interested to see what he's going to bring to Lost Lands because he's definitely more of like a wobbly kind of wonky, but Lost Lands is, is heavy. You know, it's a heavy festival. So I'm interested to see what Rusko is going to bring to the table on the Paradox stage at 9 o'clock. And 9.15 we have Snails in the Wampy Woods. I'm a big Snails fan, and I know Snails is going to throw it down, but I just saw Snails at Moonrise and Bisco, so I'd rather see Rusko because I have yet to see him. And then 10 p.m., we have, at all at the same time, at 10 p.m., Fancy Monster, Ganja White Knight, Limbo, Back to Back the Kid, and Nostalgics. I am going to go see Ganja White Knight, but at 10.15, we have Excision, Back to Back Downlink, and I will not be missing any of that set for Ganja White Knight. I will be at Ganja White Knight for like 10 minutes, hear their opening song, and then be out to... Oh, and they're playing on the Wampy Woods. Excision Back to Back Downlink is not on the Paradox stage, so that's going to be cool, because Excision pretty much plays every set on the Paradox stage. Excision Back to Back Downlink, do not miss that. Do not miss that at all. Let's, how long is that set? 10.15 to 11.30. So the sets are a little longer too, which is sick about Lost Lands. What I'm noticing, they're like more than an hour, some of them. An hour and 15, an hour and 30. It makes a difference because the conflict shit. 11 o'clock, we have Gyps, Infinite, and Richie Bands. 
definitely go to Infinite. I've been following Infinite on SoundCloud for mad long, and have I want to see him live. He's a good he's a good producer. Then we have 11:15 Elenium. I will be at Infinite. I do not really care about Elenium. Sorry, like <laughs> you guys know, Elenium is just too soft for me. I want the dubstep. He throws dub, but not enough. It's too feelsy, too soft for me. I'm not trying to cry. I'm trying to break my neck. And then 11:30. This is why I will not be at Elenium because 12th Planet back to back virtual riot. I just saw virtual riot like two days ago with Murda and Infect and 12th Planet, and it was insane. 12th Planet back to back virtual riot may be one of the best sets of Lost Lands. So do not miss that because that is going to be insane. Insane. 12 o'clock, midnight, all at the same time. Minesweeper, Duel, Attack, and Special Guest B2Bs. And the Special Guest B2Bs are going from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m., according to the app, which is crazy. And like, I don't even know how it's going to work. But um, I would probably see Minesweeper and then check out some Special Guest back to backs. And then. 12.30, they have Jurassic Park The Lost World playing on the Paradox stage. It's just like, still blows my mind every time I see that. You know, they're playing a movie. You can just chill, trip it on acid, and watch a movie in the on the main stage in the campgrounds. Then we have Chime at 1 o'clock and Peekaboo at 1 o'clock and Reed Speed at 1 o'clock. I would personally recommend Peekaboo. Peekaboo has just been, like, buzzing. I've been hearing a lot of things about Peekaboo, and I want to see what's really good about it. So I'll be at Peekaboo set 100% to see what's really good. 2 a.m. Dion Timmer, Ducky, and special guest. Dion Timmer at 2 a.m. would probably be the highlight of that. Ducky's also really dope. If you guys want to jump around, go to Ducky. She's very energetic. I'm probably going to go to special guests, at least start. Any special guest, any unannounced thing, I'm going to be at. I am checking out all special guests, all unannounced surprises, all that stuff. I got to be there and see what's good because it wouldn't be a special guest or a surprise for no reason. So it's got to be somebody good, I would hope. But Dion Timmer and Ducky are also very big names. Um, but Dion Timmer is also going to be playing on day three, not at a sound camp. So I'd rather see him, you know, there. 3 a.m., special guest, Wednesday and Yuki. I'm probably going to be at Yuki after I check out the special guest, depending who it is. Yuki are NYC fam, and I'm big supporters of them and their music, and they have really dope... Yuki got kicked off stage in Montreal for being too hard. Their music was too hard, and they got kicked off stage, and their set cut short. So free Yuki, you know what I'm saying? So that's the end. 3 a.m. Yuki on Saturday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.